this is my take on Nina Simone's for women. And she says that my skin is black and that my back is strong enough to take the pain and flick it again and again. So this reflects that black skin and the bloody whip lashes on her back. She says, and this is Aunt Sarah, she says my skin is yellow. My father was rich and white and he forced himself on my mother late one night. This depicts that rape and her name is Sophronia. She says my skin is tan. Whose little girl am I? Anyone who has money to buy. This is a body print and she's selling her body. And it's against the grain of the beige paint because she's going against what society tells her that she needs to do with her body. And this is sweet thing. She says her skin is brown. And she says I'm awfully bitter these days because my parents were slaves. So you have the handprints and you have the shackles around the hands to depict slavery. Now she's already told you that she's bitter. And she's bucking the system. And this is written upside down because she's telling you loud and proud that my name is Peaches. That's the reason her name is represented here because she's already told you that she is done. And that talk to the hand if you're going to address her any other kind of way because her name is Peaches. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> So her name is depicted here, and if you notice, her name is the only one that's depicted in color on this one. Because if you listen to the song, um, the narrative starts to change, the tone of the song starts to change, and when it comes to features, she's speaking and singing more bolder than the other ladies. And that's not to diminish their strength or their power, because they're some very powerful women, but the tone of the song just changes and the attitude changes where she's telling you, I'm pissed off, right. you know? So she's coming at it from a bolder standpoint. It makes perfect sense. Yes. It makes perfect sense. So what's your name? My name is Jennifer. Jennifer? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Awesome, yeah. Do you want to let the people know where we can look for you at or find your art or anything sure. like that? We work at a radio station. Oh, cool. You can follow me on Instagram. On Instagram? What's yeah. your Instagram? Uh, Jennifer Monet Kelly. Jennifer <laughs> Monet Kelly. Yeah, that's my name there. <laughs> and then I have another piece down here on the end. How are you? Come on, guys. I'm going to get this thing real quick. tend to be seen because uh, sometimes we are over sexualized yeah. so that's what these pieces are about that's what this piece is about and that's what these pieces are about right here it's kind of deep and these two pieces are by classy nance and she comes from a family of artists her mother is an actor actress her and her father's a photographer her artists. brother's a, yes they're like free thinking artists <laughs> Brothers, one of brothers, a filmmaker, two of them are singers, so just come from a family full of artists. This is the old to the nasty girl. The little Kims, the Foxy Brown, Miss like Elliott. <laughs> yes. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, yeah, we definitely we walked away with it. We found more deeper knowledge than we expected. Yeah. She's just in a black one. Yeah. Even her dog isn't letting down here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Let me tell you something about this piece that's in the center of the floor. This piece was created by an artist by the name of Neem Smith, and she's out of Houston, Texas. Her father is the sculptor who created the sculpture in front of the museum. His name is George Smith. Neem created this piece and the installation that is on the wall. This piece is called Cotton Dump Corn, and if you take a really good look at it, it's in the diagram of a carbon slave cargo ship. One of the other artists came in here, we were just chit chatting, and she said the Water Galley came into this museum parked here. And when she said Water Galley, like what? <laughs> and the Water Galley is, was a slave cargo ship 
like bones. They almost resemble. They are. They're bones, and they were cast from wax. Her father teaches on the college level where he did, and she basically took the model apart and made her own cast to cast these bones. These are actual railroad ties yeah. here, and she coated them in wax. These are made from wax, and these on the end, these are cotton fields, cotton plates that you put at the bottom of cotton sacks. So that's cotton sack. Those are coffee bags, and those are from Houston, Africa, and Puerto Rico. These pieces, uh, we had a little issue with uh, people not knowing their boundaries. So, uh, a friend of mine, her name is Tammy Gamble, she's an early child teacher.